Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Patrick Kills here. I am back with a brand new video. Today's video, uh, I do this every single year around this time, and it's gonna be an NHL 20 wish list or like what like I want what like I want in NHL 20. So obviously, um drop a like, let's go for 20 likes in the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So obviously this uh NHL 19 for me personally, I just feel like this game was pretty fun at the beginning and then it just started to die out. Like I felt like especially like there's some I don't know man, I, I didn't really like this you know the packs and everything it's like you know just for me personally for me um i like def i played the game september october november december then when it like got to january i i stopped like playing the game january i played a bit february i didn't really like in february i didn't play a single game of hot and in march so far i played a couple games but like i'm kind of back into but also kind of not it's just like i don't know the same thing happened in nature 18 but for nhl 18 for me i think i played until i don't know it just for me like it feels like the NHL series like the first it's like the first three months like you play it then like once January hits once the new year hits it just gets completely boring I don't know why um just I don't know if it feels like just for me like there's a lot of good stuff they did like I definitely love the free monthly legends and stuff like that um but I just felt like there's some stuff they didn't do like I didn't really like the packs this year um I kind of missed the um like cut champs and competitive season was really bad this year like all the rewards and stuff were so bad like you know back in NHL 18 like the rewards for hot champs was like i think if, like if you finish in the top 500 you get you get an evolution choice packet to choose an evo card and stuff like that and this year just it wasn't good at all there's a lot of like dumb cards they released um i was just personally i wasn't a big fan of that kind of stuff some stuff i did like was like i feel like for team of the year they should give a free team of the year card out um but team of the year like I spent like over $150 on team of the year and I didn't pull a single team of the year, which sucks. Um, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the heck the pack odds are. Like, I don't, I never really swear in videos, but you know, I just, I'm kind of pissed this year. Like this year I thought, you know, oh, it's going to be a great year. NHL, you know, 19 is going to be one of the best NHL games ever. You know, I'm actually playing this game, you know, no world of Chell. Sure. It was fun. like, what the first, like world of Chell. Like, I don't really know if anyone played it. Like for me. I played it in the beta because literally that's the only game mode. It was fun in the beta because it was the only game mode. But then when the game actually came out, I don't think like anyone played it. Maybe some people did it, but like I would say most of the people didn't ch touch it. Maybe you touched it for like a month. Like I played World of Child for maybe a month and then I just stopped playing. Um, like franchise mode, uh, I, lo I love franchise mode. In my opinion, franchise mode is probably my favorite game mode over Hockey Ultimate Team. I just love it. Just, I feel like... Same thing for me in NBA 2K, like for the NBA 2K games. My favorite game mode in that is um my league. I don't know. I just love like just building a roster and trying to win a championship. I feel like the simulation is so slow. Um, there should be options where you, like just a lot of like the simulation slow. Number one, they gotta have a fascist simulation engine. They gotta have stuff where like scouting and stuff pops up. You gotta take that out. Um, like you. Should, Obviously, they should keep scouting in the game, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, it comes up every four weeks. It should be, like, you can have, like, the bot CPU do it. But for me, franchise mode, I, I have a bunch of ideas. Like, I've been asking this every single year, man. Can you give us custom rosters? Or not even custom rosters. Can you, like, get, like NBA does this so well, man. You look at NBA 2K. Um, Basically, like, especially if you're playing NHL, the draft class. Like, you obviously know the college players. They're not in the game, which sucks because, obviously, they don't have the rights. But why not you just have... Um, downloadable and sharing roster so um, other people can like in uh, other people can make the draft class because in NBA 2k um, there's like literally you can choose a draft class so like people can uh, you know make a draft class make all like the rookies and stuff for like the future drafts and then just put it up online and then you can literally download it and then have that for your um, NHL 19 thing this would be good because then EA they don't have to have put rookies in the game um, and also they should have, you know, download custom rosters, like where people can put up rosters for fun to like, let's say, oh, let's do the 19, I don't know, let's do the 20, 2011 Boston Bruins or something like that. They should do something like that. And also what they should add for franchise mode, um, is basically in franchise mode, if you, if you don't know what I mean, like when you're trading a player, um, they should do trade finders. Basically, if you want to trade someone on your team, you click his name and then boom, all the trades that other teams, uh, want can pop up. I don't know. It's literally super easy. Like, I don't even care. Literally copy and paste it from NBA 2K19. They do it so goddamn well. I, I don't see any complaints of 2K19 my league. It's literally perfect. Obviously, it's not perfect, but you know what I mean. It's literally perfect. It's The simulation is fast. There's trade finders. There's online uh, rosters and stuff like that. 
EA doesn't have any of that. And plus, like, it's just so slow. It's so repetitive. Um, especially if you're trying to do, like, a rebuilding series like me, where, like, as each season takes literally over 30 minutes. It's unbelievable. So if you're doing, like, a rebuilding series like I do, which is three seasons, it's literally going to take you over an hour and 30 minutes, or even two hours at best. It takes so long for one season. In my opinion, make it, like, the simulation needs to be faster. Now, going into Hockey Ultimate Team... Number one, I want to have us have a three-on-three -three hockey ultimate team. Like, you have NHL threes. You have, like, World of Chell. Why not put that in HUT? Because let's be real here. No one is playing NHL threes. No one cares. Like, um, maybe some of you guys do, but I'm going to just say for the majority, no one really cares about um, threes. But why don't you put that in HUT? Like, have a uh, three, 3v3 three HUT um, competitive season or something like that. Have that hockey ultimate team. Um, they got to have better rewards for, and, and stuff like that. Cool. Like the milestones, um, the objectives and milestones were cool, but some of them are way too long. Um, the challenges were okay. I mean, challenges were only good for the beginning. I feel like they should add new challenges. Like, I know they add new challenges, but, like, the rewards suck. Better rewards. Um, and just feel like content-wise, I don't know about you guys. I'm, I don't know, dude. Just, it just feels like, you know, for me personally, I feel like the pack look needs to be better, but... It's just, like, the, the gameplay. Like, I feel like the gameplay is the number one thing. I don't know. Like, I don't think anyone can sit down for five, six hours straight and play hot without any breaks. Like, I don't think anyone can do that. Like, like I don't even think, like, the pros like that play NHL 19 can freaking sit down and keep playing games for over four hours, three hours. I don't, like, I don't think that. And that's because the gameplay is so repetitive and boring. Other games, you know, people sit down three, four hours grinding that game. In NHL, like... You play maybe like one game, you play through four, three straight games, then you're like, all right, I'm getting bored of this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take like a 31-minute break. Like, gameplay needs to be better, man, from start to finish. Like, the gameplay was good in the beta. It was good in, in the beginning of the game. Then they added a tuner update. The gameplay was crap. And then they had another tuner update, and then they kept on adding tuner updates. And they add these updates like uh, literally three weeks later. They like they add them so late. Like, they should add them like then as quick as possible but they take so much time on it um going back to competitive seasons and stuff and hot champs like the rewards are complete crap dude like i'm not a big fan also for online divisions they gotta take out um they gotta take out where um you verse people that are above you like let's say you're in division three and you know you're trying to get into div two and you're versing division one guys that doesn't make sense they gotta take that out um in my opinion just a lot of stuff needs to be changed um in this game um what other modes are there um be a pro we're probably like i i've been saying let's have a be a pro story mode like my career from nba 2k i don't think that's gonna happen um probably in nhl 2021 i don't think they're gonna have at a my be a pro story mode in nhl 20 i don't think it's gonna happen but you know all of this stuff is literally on other games like why won't you like go to like it's not considered copying anymore because every every game comp game developer does this like every game developer goes and looks at other games and takes features from it it's literally we're in 2019 you should be doing this so you should be going looking at nba 2k all right look this is what they have they got a micro Ooh, let's add that NHL. that'll be fun it keeps everyone playing for the rest of the year Ooh, you know they gotta just look at other other games and what they're doing and add it to yours like just literally i don't care copy and paste it like it'll be funner and it just you know that's the thing like they're adding these new modes which like obviously like you can't even say like you can't say that they're not adding new modes because they are they've added um nhl threes they've added world of chell and stuff it's just those modes when they add them they're cool for like a month and then they just get boring like they just get boring it doesn't keep you in the game like world of chell um it, it was fun in the beta because it's the only game mode it was fun like in a month or two but then after that, I just got boring because it's the same crap every game. Like, you're just playing on a ring trying to tear up and get a diamond bag. That's it. Like, and then the diamond bag were cool to open. And then you just got everything. It just didn't get, it wasn't fun anymore. Um, they got to add some new modes. Um, yeah. Also, man, they got to they gotta figure something out with this college stuff. Because we need to have college prospects. Especially if you're doing franchise mode. It is so frustrating creating new players. Um, creating these rookies. In franchise mode, it is literally so frustrating. And then they come with the roster update. They gotta figure something out with that. If you're not gonna get the rights to college players, add, you know, share rosters and 
stuff like that so you can like download draft classes and stuff um so ea doesn't have to do it um but yeah that's kind of a kind of a mini rant on angel 18 and kind of an angel 20 wish list i know some like maybe like, i didn't go in depth i could have easily went in depth but those are like the main stuff i want for nhl 20 personally and i feel like i, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about this cut uh this kind of stuff because obviously um in my opinion if they had these modes it'd be really fun like if you're a franchise mode player you obviously know how frustrating it is how slow the game is how hard it is to find some trades sometimes um and then obviously if you're a hub player it's literally the rewards are so frustrating competitive season stuff and the gameplay is frustrating um just I feel like this game has the potential to be something special. Um, I don't know, like, I, I feel like maybe, like, I'm not trying to, like, may, I feel like EA, you've got all the potential, man. Hopefully you guys make it work out because I literally, I, all I want to play is an NHL game for 10 months and just have fun. Like, have fun. Um, GM Connected was so fun because you actually played with your friends. I just want to have fun, man. And you guys have done, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this, they're in the right direction, I would say. Um, NHL 19 is definitely better than NHL 18. They're in the right direction. They got to keep improving. Um, you got to like, they got to ask the community more because you have game changers. Like you got to ask them game changers because like you got game changers. What's the point of having game changers if you're not going to actually like take advice from them, take advice from them, listen to your community and make this game better. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did drop that like button, subscribe, channel if you guys are new, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great finesse day. Peace out.